A lot of moving pieces on this. Let's talk more about this uh, with John Regardi, who covers City Hall for LA Magazine. He knows that place as well as anybody. He's one of my go-tos uh, for news about this stuff. John, uh, welcome. First off, you know, big picture, your reaction to this, and if you can also put in context what a large figure Mark Ridley Thomas is after decades of public service in Los Angeles. Like everyone else, Alex, I was stunned. This is a political earthquake. We are talking about someone who is one of the most prominent, powerful, and accomplished political figures in Los Angeles. He's been in elected office for 30 years, started back in the 1990s as a member of the city council, there for a while, served in the state legislature, spent 12 years on the county board of supervisors, and then just last year returned to the Los Angeles City Council, this time representing the 10th district. He is really an incredibly accomplished individual with a lot to his name so this is really a stunning blow for anyone who follows city hall you know i'm supposed to be at an event this weekend at the african-american museum congressman karen bass is mm -hmm. going to be there he's the co-chair of the event uh, and this is how big he is I'm, I'm wondering what you think this does for public confidence you know this what we have to you know, and it's a great question because what we have to keep in context here is that he is not the first uh, city council member to come into trouble. Two other council members have been caught up in FBI investigations in the last couple of years. You had Mitch Englander, who is you know, had gone to prison, and then you have council member Jose Wizar from downtown, who is uh, you know currently awaiting trial on an expansive corruption uh, charge related to the real estate development industry. So you have a lot of people who may have already been going hey, what's going on with Los Angeles politics that the FBI is coming into our building? What's going on that our top elected officials, the people, the public trust has put in office repeatedly are being indicted, are facing these federal charges? And so what is, what is going on? Because there's a lot of people that are going to say, why should I have confidence in these people when 20% of the city council is now gone because they've been indicted? Well, Mark Ridley Thomas is, is is not gone yet. That just uh, you know broke today, and certainly you know we'll have to see how justice plays out. But again, yeah, it's you know it's a great question, and it's one that I don't think a lot of people know. But no, I don't think anyone knows the answer to. But certainly, it does you know again just raise probably more questions than it answers about public trust, about public corruption. We do know that the FBI, the Los Angeles branch in particular, has been very aggressive in seeking to investigate public corruption. The case against Council Member Wezar was extraordinarily expansive. Ultimately, nine people were charged in that case, not all of them within City Hall, but that included some of the people who worked for Council Member Wezar. Well, and let's just follow up, because uh, of course you're right. Mark Ridley Thomas, presumption of innocence. Uh, he has not issued a statement yet. He has not resigned. Joe Buscayenu, who's running for mayor, asked for him to resign. What do you think, though, uh, is Mark Ridley Thomas's future when it comes to this? I know you were uh, the person that broke the story that he wasn't running for mayor. And at the time, I heard some speculation behind the scenes that this might be the reason for that. Yeah, you know, it's going to be hard to tell. And, you know, I, I would prefer not to speculate at this time. Um, you know, we'll certainly have to see, you know, how it plays out. Um, you know, what we do know about the federal prosecutors, though, is they do not do something like this and move to this type of, you know, indictment unless they're very sure they've got an ironclad case. We've seen them be successful time and again, either in uh, ultimately having individuals plead guilty or be convicted. Um, you know, we will have to see what happens, but, you know, they do have a pretty strong track record with their public integrity. Now, that, that's my question here. Federal charges. How big a deal is this? Federal charges are huge. A lot of people don't understand the difference between local charges, um, state charges. When you, you know, the feds, you know, to use an old phrase, the feds don't mess around. Uh, they're serious and they play, you know, hardball. Well, shocking news for the community, for sure. Yeah, and there's going to be a lot of ripple effects um, for a long time with this news as well. Uh, thank you so much, John Regardi. We really appreciate your perspective. Yeah. Thank you. And check him out in L.A. Magazine.